What are some of the weirdest things you've seen on YouTube? YouTube has such a huge variety of strange videos that at some point you guys have probably seen one or a series of them. Today I'll be sharing one of those instances where I got lost in the weird part of YouTube. I'm not saying these videos are good or bad, but upon my speculation it's definitely strange. At least for me. Some of you may actually enjoy or despise certain videos on YouTube and that's great. With that being said, let's have a look. Before I dig into what I'm talking about, I should get you guys up to speed. Go Animate is a video production software that allows users to create animated videos with simple designs and easy to follow instructions. Their main purpose, I believe, was to provide businesses and students a way to make presentations more appealing for their peers. Caillou is a children's animated series on PBS and the series started in 1997. It stars a four-year-old boy named Caillou, who in quote from Wikipedia, is fascinated by the world around him. Nothing special really. Now what do these two have in common? This is where the weird part of YouTube comes in. Caillou gets grounded are a series of Go Animate videos on YouTube where Caillou gets grounded for typically doing something bad. Oftentimes, Caillou does something that a normal four-year-old boy wouldn't be able to do in real life. For instance, in one video, Caillou oh changes God, the sign God, of his God, school God, to God, Chuck E. Cheese's, God, 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 tricking God, God, people into believing that it's the real thing. This is not Chuck E. Cheese's. This is school. Other times, he'll get grounded for no good reason. In this video, he gets grounded by simply having the name Caillou, which angers a police officer. The variety of these videos can be quite far-fetched when it comes to what Caillou does, but the beauty of creating parodies is that the sky's the limit. There's no consistency in that regard. However, there is actually some consistency in Caillou Gets Grounded series. How he gets grounded is one of those things. In most of the videos, one of his parents will grunt or yell really loudly, then proceed to say, Caillou, how dare you do this? That's it. You're grounded for X number of years. Caillou, how dare you not take a bath? That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for Google Plax years. It isn't true for every single video, but it's definitely the norm. This is just one of the many consistencies the series of videos have, but I'll be going through which each thing one at a time. Let me introduce you to some of the common characters in the series. Caillou needs no introduction. He's a bald kid that's a big troublemaker, although sometimes he gets punished for no good reason. Typically he's the star of the whole show, and most often is ridiculed at the end for his shenanigans. Caillou appears to be a genius as he is able to bend reality or he's able to invent something extraordinary. For example, he was able to switch bodies with his father, Boris. But the truth of the matter is, just about every character can do something similar in feet. Ha 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 ha. We switch bodies. You're still grounded, so go upstairs now. So it isn't that Caillou is the next Albert Einstein, it's just that in Go Animate, anything goes. Boris is Caillou's father. He's usually depicted as a parent who ultimately grounds Caillou for whatever he's done. Some of the videos paint him as an abusive father, and his favorite hobby is to ground Caillou, regardless of how justified it may be. In other videos, he's just a typical father that wants to correct Caillou. In the most extreme way possible. I mean, my god! I haven't told you about Punishment Day! That's it. Time for a Punishment Day. It's where Boris and Doris gives him a list of punishments he must do before being sent to his room. Or perhaps die. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Now, die. Just look at some of the examples and tell me how messed up it is. I get that it's all in the name of parody, but if this were to happen in real life, Child Protective Services would have a field day. Sometimes even Caillou's sister, Rosie, joins in on the family fun. Oh First lord. Swimming the pool of mashed potatoes. That's impossible. There is no pool of mashed potatoes. Yes, there is Galu. Now Doris is Caillou's mother. She doesn't ground him as often as Boris does, but she has her moments. 
Once, she had to ground Caillou from destroying a McDonald's. It's amazing how much of a brat Caillou is in both the PBS Kids series and in Go Anime. She doesn't seem to have much of a personality from the videos I've seen, so oftentimes Doris is more of a side character than anything else. Rosie is Caillou's baby sister and is often abused by Caillou. Sometimes she gets granted for her stunts. One last character of note is Caillou's teacher, Miss Martin. Numerous times, Miss Martin would let Caillou use the bathroom, even though in almost every case he skips school and goes to Chuck E. Cheese's or something. Of course, she finds out one way or another and will phone his parents and ask him to ground Caillou. In fact, Every other character that isn't his parents will personally call them to ask to ground him. Even President Obama! How funny is it that the president, instead of having Caillou's parents arrested, just calls his parents and advises them just to give him a basic punishment for destroying the White House? Caillou blew up the White House. Will you please ground him? Thanks. Bye. Well, that just about covers all of the important characters. Some reoccurring characters that aren't as important are Dora the Explorer, Peppa Pig, Arthur, and just about every other little kids show characters from PBS Kids and Nick Jr. They too have their own Get Grounded series as well, but Caillou Gets Grounded was the first one I've stumbled upon, and I believe it's the most popular, so let's just focus on that. The whole series of videos are more or less the same formula repeated over and over again with the outrageous situations Caillou gets himself into. All it is, is just Caillou is bored, he hatches an idea, he executes his idea, then he gets grounded for 8907905162963902352308926305871093476 months. Go to your room now. Oh yeah. Another common occurrence is a notorious length that Doris and Boris will give Caillou on his groundings. It's actually quite incredible. In their world, they can live for eternity. And most people on Earth can't make it past 100. All in all, the videos are very repetitive. And I'm not saying it because it's a Go Animate video. I'm saying it because there's hardly any substance. You get exactly the same thing, and it makes me curious on why there's an audience for it. I'll admit, I've watched dozens of these videos. But it's more out of the fact that it has a so bad as good quality. Much of it has to do with Go Animate. It has very little to offer of what can be done in the video. Like, if the creators want Caillou to destroy something, all they can do is have Caillou throw his arms up in the air and hover around while random stuff flies all over the place. It's stuff like that that makes me want to keep watching for some strange reason. It's just so bizarre. I imagine the audience for Caillou gets grounded and others are teenagers who are rebelling against their past childhood characters. Which makes sense. When I was 13, I've held to the belief that Barney the Dinosaur is this evil creature that eats children off camera. I say it has a young teenage audience because another series of videos I found are Behavior Card Day. The setup is simple. Several different characters are in a class, and the teacher, Miss Martin, or another person, will explain what each card means. Most often the case, the best card rewards a person with graduation from school or permanently have time off from school. And the worst card punishes a student with dead meat. Ooh. Each card fluctuates on the scale. So the second best is 100 years off school, third is 50 years off school, etc. While the second worst is 100 years suspension, third is 50 years suspension, etc. Caillou, more often than not, gets the dead meat card. And what a surprise, he gets grounded by his parents in the end. Oh my freaking god. Kalu, how dare you get him dead meat? That's it. You are grounded forever. You may be asking, are there anything that's actually funny in this series? And to tell you the truth, there's a couple of instances where I died laughing, more out of how absurd it is. Yay, 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 I got off the gray card. Barney, are you retarded? A gray card means you have detention for eight hours. 
Go to the principal's office right now! My 13-year-old inside of me smiled at that moment. If you dig deep enough, you're bound to find something that's actually worth watching. There's one where Caillou and Boris goes to Amy's Baking Company, and for those who don't know, the restaurant was featured in Kitchen Nightmare, and is famous for being the only restaurant that Gordon Ramsay gave up on. Give me a break! This is... You guys, I make excellent food! Good luck. Amy is now a laughing stock on the internet for how crazy she is. You didn't taste that one. This is, you guys, I make excellent food. You all think that you can come in here and say these things. Are you kidding? I won't spoil what happens, but I will say it has Chuck E. Cheese in it. Perhaps what I hate the most in the Cayugas Grounded series, and for the others as well, is moments where the viewer is warned about loud noises. Don't worry, I won't put you through that. I don't understand why that is necessary and the fact that they must have Boris or some other character tell the audience to turn down their volume means that they're aware how annoying that is. There's absolutely no purpose in doing this. They could have just said, next punishment, loud music, and play it as normal. At least there's advance warning, although sometimes they don't even give you a warning, but I find it such a waste of space. I can go on and on and on about Caillou Gets Grounded, but that will require me to spend hours on every little detail that I don't want to do. This is more of a sample of what these series of videos have to offer. Caillou Gets Grounded is weird, and I think the people who makes it know it's weird, but it doesn't mean that it's bad. It all depends on the person's taste, and honestly, I like it in one way, but in other ways, I don't. Much of it is rehashing from another, and many of them probably just jumped the bandwagon because they were easy to make, and a lot of teenagers generally hate Caillou and other little kids show characters. Sometimes the creators of these videos will make appearances here and there too. There are some that does something different like in the Amy's Baking Company video, but for the most part it's the same thing. Most people I would imagine will find it very boring, but there's clearly an audience for it, so who am I to judge? If this is something that stirs your curiosity, go check it out for yourself. This has been Tyler Talk. Thank you, Eddie. I will watch you get punishment. Kill you. No, 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 no. My stuff. My stuff. Why? 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 Why?